What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Path of the Network Marketer. It is day 46, episode 46. Getting closer to 50, guys. Getting closer to 50. 46. Hey, that's my age. Wow. So it's getting there. Wow. That just makes me feel old because I'm just saying it's getting closer to 50 and I realize I'm 46. Um, anyways, neither here nor there. No, nothing Nothing actually concerns me about, uh, about um, aging. Uh, I actually am very, very happy. My sister and I were having this discussion the other day. I, I like, you know, at this age, um, you know, when I look at the previous generation before me, um, in our family anyways, I, I'm like, yeah, they weren't, they weren't doing half the things that, that we do at this age, right? <laughs> right. So I, I'm, yeah, I have no fears of, of, of aging. It's just a number really in my, in my opinion and experience. And, and I'm not, um, I haven't been well. I, I haven't been limited by it, right? Like I think I think people approach aging as if um, you know you're less and less able to do the things that you did when you were younger, and that's not necessarily true. It doesn't have to be if you don't want it to be, right? And that's again, it's a belief system. That's what we were talking about yesterday. It's a, the definitions that you're carrying um, can potentially limit you, and 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 if you hold on to those as if they're concrete, um, then you're going to be stuck with that belief system and the results that belief, belief system produces. So, um, I, okay, so that's that's a, a pretty decent segue, I guess, because today I wanted to talk about where those belief systems come from, right? Where the d- definitions come from. Um, understand that, that m- most of what you're operating with today um, in terms of belief systems, in terms of the definitions that you're holding about the world and about your experiences, about interactions, about people, um, all a majority of that. If if you've gone unchecked, if if you're especially if you're new to you know self development and personal development, most of what you believe about the world and about life and about yourself came from when you were a kid, right? And and you know the experiences that you had, the people that you were around, um, and especially the mindsets that you were influenced by right like like whether it was your you know your parents or the fa- whoever the adult you know the the adult figures were in your life um um you're you're largely um, uh, carrying their their belief systems, right? Um, and and a lot of those belief systems, even from them, are unconscious. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be overtly um, spoken belief systems. It could be you know belief systems that that communicate themselves through their actions unconsciously. Um, and so we pick all of this information up, and and it gets you know our formative years as children. It, that's when it's all getting programmed into our brains. And, and so we're carrying an all carrying all this this really potentially. Out- outdated information, right? Like if you, let's think about our minds as computers, it's potentially, well, not potentially, it, it, it probably is um, um, uh, likely a very, very outdated OS, right? Outdated programming. And and, and most of it is probably not serving you um, or, or at least supporting, in, uh, supporting you and where you want to go in your network marketing business, especially, you know, like we have to really kind of um, level up and, and shift our belief systems, especially about ourselves, um, if we want, if we want to change the the current outcomes and results that we have in our lives, so you know, understand that those again, those belief systems and those definitions, um, they they're not necessarily yours, and so that's another reason why you should be willing to let go of them, especially again if they're not supporting your journey and and the things that you want to achieve, the 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 new outcomes, the new results that you want in your life. Look, you you can't get new results and different results in your life with the same belief systems that you've been carrying for the last 10, 15, 20 years. It's just not possible, right? If So so not addressing those things, uh, you're going to doom yourself to the same results. Again, what, getting locked in, as I, I mentioned in the last episode, getting locked in to your belief systems and not being willing to kind of uh, challenge them or or reframe them for yourself, you, you're going to just limit limit your, your, your results, right? Uh, because it's a limiting, limiting viewpoint of, of how how things are, how things work, how things um, appear to be, how you are and how you appear to be. I mean, that's the biggest piece, right? The belief, um, your belief about yourself, the belief systems you hold about yourself. Um, so, so it's incredibly important that, that you guys realize this it's, and, and it's completely malleable. And all, uh, all we have to do, I, I mean, I, you know, I know I'm simplifying this. And, and here's the thing. So before I go into, you know, well, you know what? I'm going to save that for, for tomorrow's episode because it is going to be a little bit of a longer topic. Um, uh, and I don't want to make today's episode too long. But, yeah, just understand that it's, it's, uh, it's, it's all programming that, that happened, most, most programming that happened when you were a child. Um, and, and, you know, generally 
speaking, that, that everybody meant well, but, uh, you know, not everybody was equipped to, to <laughs> is, well, not everybody is necessarily equipped to, um, to, to give uh, children in their formative years healthy programming, right? Um, so we have to, as adults, um, parent ourselves and, and rewire and reprogram. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. Um, but uh, I just wanted, again, bring more clarity to this conversation about definitions and belief systems. So we'll catch you tomorrow with a fresh new episode. Until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.